things that uh, you told us about earlier today was Exhibit 741. And Exhibit 741 indicated that Travis Gretsch was, I think I was a little more than a dildo with a heart to you. Do you remember that? You're talking can, about can it? you say, no. Mr. Martinez, can you direct me to what you're looking at, please, so sure. I can refer to it as well, please? Right there, right there. See that? Travis. I think there was a little more than a dildo with a heartbeat to you. See that? Yes, I do see that, sir. And you talked to us previously today about that, right? You read it. I did. And in this, the defendant says, but you were just a piece of meat. Doesn't it say that? Show me where you're referencing, please. Oh, yes, I see it under 402, second to the last line. And that's something that you talked to us about previously today, right? That's something that what? that you spoke to us about today. About this entry here that said that? Right, and you also talked to us about the one where he indicated that he was just a dildo with a heart. Talked to us about that, right? That Mr. Alexander had written that, yes. Yes, you talked to us about it, right? I read what was on the email, yes. Uh -huh. And then you talked to us about it, right? Yes. You indicated that you had formed some impressions about that, didn't you? Yes. And you told us that this these impressions were that he would, it was a struggle with himself because of his sexuality, right? It wasn't just based on this email, but yes, I had said that right. based on a number of things that I tried to articulate in the last several days. Right, but specifically, this is one of your data points, right? It's a point of information that I considered, yes. Right, and this point of information, you told us that this showed to you that he was struggling with his sexuality, right? Objection mischaracterized as a testimony. She said it was several things. Uh, overruled. You may answer. Right? No, sir, you're wrong. I, I, you know, it's difficult to try to answer your questions because you're mischaracterizing what I stated. He's being unresponsive. Sustained. Answer the question if you can. Next you question. You did talk to us about it this morning, right? That is correct. And you did talk to us in terms of Mr. Alexander's sexuality, right? Yes, I did. And you gave us your opinion about what you thought he was saying or meant by those words. Object or what was being said with regard to those words. Right? Objection mischaracterizes her testimony. Overruled. You may answer. Right. Again, I don't believe that that's correct, sir. You don't? You didn't tell us what you thought these words meant? Objection mischaracterizes her testimony. Overruled. You may answer. Your Honor, I believe that I'm going to be answering this way that I just can't answer because I think there's a mischaracterization. So I did talk about it this morning, yes. I did mention that. All right. Next and question. And you told us certain things about it, right? Yes, I did. And you gave us your opinion about it, right? Yes, sir. Give us your opinion again. But what I indicated earlier was that Mr. Alexander brings it back to sexuality, but he's not incorporating other aspects of the relationship that he has with Miss Arias. Or it could be that Miss Arias it's just somebody who has been described as being in heat, and he doesn't like that. Objection, argumentative, facts not in evidence. Sustained. Move, well, to, strike. Move to strike, Your Honor. Yes, jury will disregard the question. Let me show you an exhibit that talks about that. Have you read any documentation, ma'am, from anyone indicating that the defendant has been described being in heat. Objection, Your Honor. Improper is prejudicial. May we approach? Yes, you may approach. Thank you. 